Which news do you watch now mostly? Now? I don't watch any of the news. Where do you get your... I get like, I go on Michael Knowles and iPods and now I'm on Twitter with uh, Carson Tucker, you know, yeah. things like that. Because I want to know everything. Unintentionally admitting that Michael Knowles isn't news is one thing, but confusing an iPod for a channel or a website maybe, and switching Tucker Carlson's name before claiming that she wants to know everything, Knowles and Carlson are the way to do that I guess, is another. Do you still watch Fox News? No. <laughs> How come? Like, because they lie. I watch Son Sean Hannity. So she's aware that Fox News lies. Cool. But does she not know that Hannity is on Fox? Like, he has his own website and radio show. Yeah, got it. But that's not what she meant. Also, Hannity doesn't lie? TYT's Michael Shore is giving us examples of people living in filter bubbles and echo chambers, with filter bubbles being defined as an environment and especially an online environment in which people are exposed only to opinions and information that conform to their existing beliefs, and echo chambers meaning an environment in which the same opinions are repeatedly voiced and promoted so that people are not exposed to opposing views. Now. I'm not gonna pretend like this phenomenon is something that only happens on the right. I would argue that it happens more over there, but that's for a different video. See, despite some differences in opinion of what is and isn't mainstream media and who is and isn't biased, conservatives dominate social media messaging, even though they pretend to be censored and silenced. Those who say that news media is liberal are the same people who might be more susceptible to disinformation. What do you think of Fox News? That's the only news I watch. I watch, I've seen the CNN, I've seen some of the others, and they're so biased, um, it really pisses me off. Do you think Fox is biased? To a point. This leaves people with doing their own research. And according to Forbes, I'm sure some are calling them left-leaning and liars right now. Quote, when most of us research an issue, what we are actually doing is formulating an initial opinion the first time we hear about something, evaluating everything we encounter after that through that lens of our gut instinct, finding reasons to think positively about the portions of the narrative that support or justify our initial opinion, and finding reasons to discount or otherwise dismiss the portions that detract from it. With all of that said, we are exposed to more diverse and opposing views than we think, but we also lie to ourselves. Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene has a new boyfriend, and good for her. We all need to be loved and respected, including people who dress in drag, like MTG's new boyfriend. The link to that video is in the description below. My content can be found by clicking the Jeff Wiggins hashtag or visiting my YouTube channel called We Gonna Be Alright. And if you didn't know, my architect knows Japanese.